hello everyone and welcome back to my channel once again so in today's video we are going to learn how we can paint oak nuts or a corn you can refer to my previous video i can give you a link into the description section so that you can learn step by step how we can draw leaves and a corn nuts so i'm using this 300 gsm watercolor sheet for today's painting and i'm going to create my own composition I do not have any reference point but uh, you can choose any photo from internet and create your composition it's totally fine for my composition I am using two acorn and few leaves here and there in my drawing I have kept a corn little pointed but this time i'm keeping it little rounder i think this shape is better as compared to the previous one and then you can create leaves you can keep few smaller few bigger but totally fine leaves should be little bit serrated in the uh, rounder shape itself so you can create main vines and then sub vines and then create all these serration in the vines itself so it's easy to draw and uh, easy to paint as well i guess to paint any object there are multiple ways to do it some artists use only watercolor some artists uh, mix two different medium together and uh, i like to paint stuff in multiple ways but in this particular video i'm going to use watercolor and pen also just to highlight few things that would make our painting bit easier and we are done with the composition i have rubbed the pencil mark i'm using size 6 round brush my first color is uh, yellow ochre so basically you need to use all the colors like yellow orange red brown and in the brown also you can use multiple shades burn sienna burn umber raw sienna you don't have to copy mine you just need to grab all these colors with you and try to go from lighter node to the heavier node so i'm starting with the yellow color and i have filled the corn area so basically in the corn area I use this particular area as nuts and the upper area as the cap. So first start with the yellow color and fill the area with the yellow itself. You can use wet on wet technique also. So first wet in the area and then apply all these colors. It's totally fine. So once done with the yellow color, I'm going to use brown color to add a little darker node. So I am using these brown color around the edges. So let me show you one and then you can repeat the same thing for the other one as well. Uh, keeping the middle section little lighter because I want it light reflection as well. So you cannot paint everything with the same color note. So keep the middle section little lighter and keep the edges darker so something like this you can do if your sheet is dry you can blend the color with the help of damp brush not too wet not too dry so that you can avoid any hard edges into the uh, section uh, so now i'm using dark shade of brown and adding lines like this with the help of smaller brush so this one is size 2 round brush and I'm again keeping the middle section little lighter and filling this dark brown color around the edges. And likewise you can add more colors into it. So something like this you will get at the end. So this is about the nuts area. Now let's talk about the cap section. So for the cap section again I'm going to use lighter shade of burn umber. So fill both the cap section uh, with the help of lighter brown color. So you need to repeat the same thing for the second one. The only difference is for the first one we have already done with the nut area and the second one is still incomplete. 
so you can see a difference between the darker node and lighter node values so first one is more precise as compared to second one right so let's complete the second one with the help of darker node itself so my sheet is dried so i'm applying water so that i can add more colors into it so this is better uh, idea to paint uh, these kind of stuff wherein we need more values of colors into our object so let's complete uh, this particular nuts as well with the help of dark brown color itself In between cap and nut area we need little darker shade so I'm keeping that area also little dark and keeping the middle section little lighter now let's start with the cap so again I'm using brown color only but I'm adding little dots of brown around the cap area I'm going to repeat the same thing for both the caps but I'm going to show you only one so let's add the dots of brown around it you can keep the dots at distance as well or closer to each other or you can create bigger dots or smaller dots you can keep the density of dots closer to each other or, or at distance so repeat the same thing for second nut as well and keep it aside meanwhile we can start with the leaves for the leaves as well, I'm using wet on wet tech. Either you can wet in the area with the help of clean water or else you can wet in the area with the help of yellow color also. It's totally fine. So I'm filling the whole area with the help of yellow itself first. My first color is yellow and then I'm going to add more of green color, orange color or red color. These are autumn leaves and it's the month of October so we can keep the color shades on those particular ground. So once you're done with the yellow color you can start adding other colors as well. Make sure you're not using something which makes your color muddy. So I think yellow and green goes really well with each other. So we can use these two colors together. In fact, orange and red is also something goes really well with yellow color. So you can use little bit of orange and red also in between to show the transition from green to yellow and red into the leaves. Again, I'm not doing any kind of detailing with the help of watercolor. I'm just filling the area with the colors and, and then we are going to do some detailing with the help of pen so let's repeat the same thing for other two leaves as well you can keep the color combination as per your choice i'm using all these colors for the leaves always remember drawing all these things is also important so first learn how to draw all these things and then you can paint all these things easily and you can refer to my previous video if you want to learn how you can draw uh, these kind of leaves and nuts and you can use a little bit of red and orange color in between uh, leaves as well now i'm glazing the nut area with the help of orange brown color so i have mixed a little bit of orange in the brown make sure all your previous color have dried completely and then you are using this particular shades to glaze the area again i'm keeping the middle section a little lighter so that we can see the light reflection from there now with the help of clean water i'm glazing uh, the cap section my sheet is dried but you can get a little bit color with the help of clean water and something like this you can get at the end so we are done with the watercolor stuff and let it dry completely and then you can start adding more detailings into it with the help of pen i'm using this needle pen this is size 005 mm but make sure your previous color have dried completely before moving to the next step mine is little bit wet but still i'm doing it but you can wait until it gets dried completely you can use normal ball pen as well instead of the needle pen 
you can create an outline for the leaves and nuts you can create leaf vines and sub vines with the help of pen i think all these kind of detailing is easier to do when you are doing all these things with the help of pen rather than using watercolor but if you want to make your painting more realistic use only watercolor this is more like easy way to do all these things if you are a beginner i think you can relate all these things easily once done with the outlining you can use some sketching methods to make it or to beautify the stuff a little bit but again remember we don't have to overdo the pen things in the watercolor uh, painting so i am using contouring method uh, in the nuts area contouring means creating parallel lines as per object shape so i am creating all these curved lines around the edges for the nuts area and then i am going to do some cross hatching process around the cap area you can use this needle pen once your painting have dried completely or else you can use ball pen to expedite the process so i am using a cross contouring method around the leaf section but not throughout little bit here and there just to add little extra detailing and once you are done with all these kind of things i think you are done with your painting and keep this particular section little darker so you can add more pen shades around this particular area and i think we are done with today's painting i am liking the shape of nuts in this particular uh, composition better as compared to my drawing as you can see this one is little pointed this one is not so i'm hoping this video is helpful for you guys do let me know if you have any kind of feedback for me and thank you so much for watching my video see you guys in the next video